Another way of writing the equation of a circle is in general form. Remember, the standard equation of a circle whose center is at the origin is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. But if the center is not located on the origin, we use the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. This standard form of equation of a circle, not on the origin, can be presented in another form. We call it the general form of the equation of a circle. The nice thing about standard form is that, at a glance, it shows the center and radius of the circle. That is why it is convenient to use the standard form. However, another form, called the general form, is often the form in which the equation is given. So let's get to it. The general form of the equation of a circle is ax squared plus ay squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0, where a should not be equal to 0. Now, if we divide each term by a, we get the other form of the equation of a circle. We have x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. We eliminate the numerical coefficient in the first two terms, x squared and y squared, by dividing through a. So basically, kapag ganito ang general equation is circle, we can still reduce it into this form by dividing each term with the given value of a. With this, we can solve for the value of d, e, and f, where d is equal to negative 2h, e is equal to negative 2k, and f is equal to h squared plus k squared minus r squared. Take note that h, k is the center and r is the radius. Now, what if gusto natin mumalik sa standard form of the equation is circle? Can we still do that? Can we change general form of the equation of a circle to its standard form and vice versa? Can we do that? Yes, of course. So to get back to the standard form of the equation of a circle, we do it as follows. If the given general equation of a circle is of this form, we first have to divide each term through a, then transpose the constant term to the right side of the equation. f in here is constant so we need to transpose it to the other side. And finally, complete the squares in x and y. But if the given general equation of a circle is of this form, x squared plus y squared lang siya, then we just have to transpose the constant term to the right side and complete the square in x and y. So hindi na natin kailangan i-divide sa a kasi simplified na ang given. Unlike kapag ganito ang given, na kailangan pa natin i-divide sa kung anumang value ni a. Now, how do we complete the squares? To complete the square, we add or subtract the square of half the coefficient of x or y to both sides of the equation, then factor the expression. So let us have some examples. Number 1. Write the equation of a circle in general form with center at negative 1, negative 6, and radius 8. In this problem, we need to find the general form of the circle given the center and radius. To do that, kailangan muna natin isulat ang standard form ni circle kasi given ang center at radius. Thus, the standard form of the circle is x plus 1 raised to 2 plus y plus 6 raised to 2 equals 8 squared. Paano naging ganito? Since the center is not on the origin, but at negative 1 and negative 6, we use the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Recall our lesson on the standard form of the equation of a circle, where h is equal to negative 1 and k is equal to negative 6. So we replace h with negative 1, so we have negative times negative 1, and that is equal to positive 1. Then, replace k with negative 6. Negative times negative 6 equals positive 6. And replace r with 8 and square. So the standard form of the circle is x plus 1 squared plus y plus 6 squared 
equals 64. 8 times 8 equals 64. Now, para maging general form itong standard equation ni circle, we need to square the binomials. First, what is x plus 1 raised to 2? This means we need to multiply x plus 1 2 times by itself. So we use the FOIL method. x times x is equal to x squared plus x times 1 equals x plus 1 times x equals x plus 1 times 1 which is 1. Then we combine like terms. So we have x squared plus x plus x is equal to 2x, then plus 1. So x plus 1 squared is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Plus, expand y plus 6 squared. That is, y plus 6 times y plus 6. Using the same process, y times y is y squared plus y times 6 is 6y plus 6 times y is 6y plus 6 times 6 is 36. Combine 6y so we have y squared plus 6y plus 6y is 12y plus 36. So y plus 6 raised to 2 is equal to y squared plus 12y plus 36. And this is equal to 64. Take note, hindi na natin ini-square si 64. Kasi sinimplify na natin siya dito. 8 squared is 64, kaya we just copied it. Okay? Next is to rearrange the terms following that of a general form. So we need to arrange the terms like this way. Una muna si x squared plus y squared, then susunod yung mga terms na may x variable pagkatapos yung may y variable, then yung mga constants. So let's just follow this form. We have x squared plus y squared plus term with x variable, which is 2x, then term with y variable, in this case we have 12y, then we combine all the constant terms. We have 36 and 1 on the left side. So combine them, 36 plus 1 is equal to 37. Then, we move 64 to the other side, making it negative 64. Then, equals 0. Then, let's just simplify the constant terms, 37 minus 64, and that is equal to negative 27. Therefore, the general form of the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 12y minus 27 equals 0. There is another way of finding the general equation of a circle. Since the center is at negative 1, negative 6, and r is equal to 8, where h is equal to negative 1 and k is equal to negative 6, we use these formulas to solve for the value of d, e, and f following this general form of the circle. So, let's first solve for the value of d, which is equal to negative 2h. Replace h with negative 1, so negative 2 times negative 1 is equal to positive 2. Next, solve for the value of e, which is equal to negative 2k and replace k with negative 6. So negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12. Then solve for f, which is equal to h squared plus k squared minus r squared, where h is equal to negative 1, k equals negative 6, and r equals 8. Simplify, negative 1 squared is positive 1 plus negative 6 squared is 36 minus 8 squared which is 64. So 1 plus 36 is 37 minus 64 that is equal to negative 27. Therefore, the equation is we follow this form, we first copy the variables x squared plus y squared, then 
what is now the value of d? The value of d is positive 2. Therefore, we have plus 2, then copy x. Pag d, ang variable ay x. Next, what's the value of e? Our e is equal to positive 12. So we have plus 12, then write y. Pag e naman, ang variable niya ay y. Then finally, what's the value of f? The value of f is negative 27. That is why we have minus 27. Pag f, wala siyang variable kasi constant siya. Then, equals 0. Now, some of you might wonder bakit dito positive or plus ang f at pagpunta dito ay minus. Take note, the value of our f is negative 27. If we multiply the signs, we still get negative. Negative times positive is negative. Okay? And there we have it. As can be seen, we can arrive at the same answer using either method. Let us have another example. 